Okay, I am currently in Microsoft Word uh, 2013 version. I'm getting ready to write a paper for one of my college classes. And the requirement for the class is the paper has to be in MLA format. So I thought I would do a very quick demonstration of how to do an MLA format setup. Uh, I just open open the program and it's you know I'm ready to go. So first thing I want to do is I want to come up to the size of the font. I want to change it from 11 to 12. Uh, I like to go to the the font theme and I like to select Times New Roman. So I select that. Next step is I go to where I find paragraph. I click on the little uh, the little arrow setting and I come down to line spacing. Right now it says multiple. I want to change that to double. I click OK. Uh, next thing I want to do is go to insert. Uh, I want to come up here and find where it says page, header and footer and where it says page number. I click on that. I go to the top of the page and it brings up a little chart. It shows the, uh, the header in the upper left. This one's in the upper middle. This one's in the upper right. I want to click on the one that's plane number three, upper right. Uh, here you want to type in your last name. So last name. Once you have that, you just double click below the header line. This is the header and header line. Double click here. Now you're ready to uh, begin your putting in your name, your teacher's name, your course, and then the date. Uh, also, let me, let me go to page layout just to make sure you want to click on your margins and select the one that says top left, bottom right, all one inch. So that's my margins are already set good. Um, now I'm ready to type. So first thing you want to type in is your name, your name, teacher name. Then you want to type in your, your course and number. Example would be like English 101, English 102, Speech 100, uh, Biology 101, or whatever. The, you want your, the name of your course and the course number. So course and number. I'm just going to 100, course 100. And right here you type in, uh, you want to type in day, month, year. Or, better yet, you can just not type that in, and you can have the have uh, Microsoft Word do it for you. If you come up here to Insert, you come over to here where it says Date and Time. Click on that. You find the date format you want. Here's one that's uh, the day, day, month, year. Just click on that. Click OK. Then you want to hit Enter again. Come back up to home and you find your layout. You want to go to the center. That's where you put your title of your paper or whatever. Title of paper. Oops, man, I can't type. Title, jeez. Okay, then you write your title and then you click down a spot. Then you go back to left. And from there you want to hit tab. And then you, you type your whatever it is you're writing. Blah, blah, blah blah so on and you do a couple lines make your first paragraph and whatnot okay and then you hit enter then tab again start your next paragraph blah 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 and so on anyway that's how you uh that's how you do it and if you notice you go down to the next page oops Hold on a second. Don't worry about that. See, when you, as soon as you go to your next page, you'll see that you have a little, your name will go on and it'll say page two. It'll do that for all your pages. That's the purpose of having that header. And then when you're done writing your story or whatever, you do a works cited page and then you're done. I'm just showing you how to do the simple layout. Hope that helps you guys out. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.